What's going on world, it's your boy Big Chips. Listen, today I wanna to talk to you about <laughs> basically fear. Uh, and fear is just false evidence appearing real. And it's things that we create in our own thought patterns, things that we've been bred to believe. Uh, your upbringing is one of those things that can affect you negatively, okay? So the best step to, to think about this and the reason you see my beautiful artwork up here, I mean, look at that stick figure. That's nice, isn't it? I love it. Is to think of yourself in a box because that's what fear creates. Fear puts you inside of a container. There's no getting out, right? And fear can almost make you feel trapped, all right? So when you come into this industry, when you become a network marketing professional, when you start your career, when you start this business, you've got to figure out what are the things that are going to hold you back. And fear is the biggest one. Again, it's false evidence that just appears to be real. So it's not true. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, fear it can actually be broken down into four steps or four separate sections of fear if you will number one that people fear is change right people f hate change we become such a creature of habit we get used to the way things are and when something comes in and kind of knocks you around you get scared you get uneasy i wouldn't say scared you get uneasy you get that feeling inside that something's not right. You know, there's a story of Carly Simon and uh, Bruce Springsteen. You know, Tony Robbins talks about it. And one of the things is, is when they get ready to go on stage, you know, both now they both said the same exact thing. Their, their stomach turns into knots. They get all sweaty, just seem really anxious and about to throw up. And Carly Simon says, I just know I'm having a panic attack. Whereas Bruce Springsteen says, I know it's time to get on stage. It's pretty radical, isn't it? Two different ways of looking at it, and that comes in the fear of change, all right? It also comes into the second part of this, which is actually fear of the unknown. All right, fear of the unknown. People are scared to go down that road because they don't know where it goes, right? So that you're sitting there and you're looking at this business opportunity that you're being presented with. You know, this thing that could be something that saves your life, that creates wealth, that brings you out of the depression, whatever the case may be. But the fear of the unknown stops you. And that's what we're trying to get you away from. We want to get you broke broken out of this this maze this box this low ceiling that you've created for yourself right so fear of the unknown you're just scared of what you don't know you know and it, we'll talk about that here in a second number three obviously the fear of failure right the fear of failure it stops a lot of people in their tracks because you're scared for people to see you not do good. You know, one thing I've noticed in internet marketing, network marketing, affiliate marketing, in whatever you want to call it, is people are very scared to fail. And here's how it normally goes. Yeah, I'll try that. You try that. You don't give it your best effort, okay? Let's just be honest. You just kind of piddle around in it you don't do good so now all these people over here and all these people over here who are watching you saw that you failed saw that you did not do good so you're scared to do it again because it's that whole pride issue and I think pride has a lot to do with failure because when you fail your pride depletes right so fear of failure is huge but this one's gonna surprise you Okay, so listen very closely. The fourth part of fear, and one of the biggest ones, comes from generational curses, maybe? Huh, who knows? But that is the actual fear of success. You fear success because what it will mean to you. You know, I actually had somebody say that they didn't want to make 
X amount of dollars because once they did, the government was going to come and take all their money. <laughs> it's crazy. You know, and I was talking to somebody and they were like, you know, all the rich people, successful people, they have to pay so much more in taxes. They don't deserve a tax break. All these things you hear poor and broke people say. I love, I don't loathe, I love the fact that I get to pay more in taxes because that means I'm providing more for my family. And that includes my, my digital family, my team, because the better I do means the better they're doing. All right, so it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. But for some reason, people are scared of success and it doesn't make sense to me it really doesn't but here's how you tie it all together okay fear of change and fear of the unknown all right so we're sitting here in our little our little box and we're just blah right we're just blah the change comes in is when they start taking off portions of our box so now we have all the airflow coming in and all the airflow going out. You can get in, you can get out. Nothing is known. Whereas before you were stuck in this little box, there was nowhere to go. You were safe, you were secure, you were warm. Your teddy bear was there to hug you. Now the teddy bear's gone. The umbrella is lifted. Now you have this opportunity of failure. Whereas before, you didn't know that you had a chance to fail, but you do because no job is safe. Let's just be honest. I've seen people fired for nothing just to bring somebody in that's cheaper. You know, not a good idea, but it does happen. So fear of failure comes in because all of a sudden you don't have these walls. You have nothing to protect you from anything coming at you. It's all coming from different directions. What could happen? Anything, right? Anything. So that fear of failure saying, oh my God, what if I don't make it? What if, what if, what if you do? What if you do? What if you do succeed? All right, what if all of a sudden you get to this point where you actually are successful. You're actually making it in this industry. You're actually taking your life to a new level. And I hope you can see this, by the way, I'm not sure. I'm just recording it and I'm gonna hope that you can. But what if you succeed? Here's the problem, generational curse. You've been brought up in a certain mindset. I suffered from this for so long because this was my life because I was you know rich people are bad they're evil they're always hurting the little man you know old big brother not on approve of the government you should know that by now but it's still that that fear that if I succeed they're gonna take more from me they're gonna come after me now here's here's one thing I do know to be true with success becomes greater responsibilities. Greater responsibilities means more for you to look after, more problems to arise. Now I'm not saying you can't handle it because when you get to a point of actual having the success, you're at a place where you're doing good. You understand things, you've been through some stuff, right? You've been through that ringer. So my thing is with fear, is when you take the negative connotation that we've put here fear of change you fear the un something being different learn to embrace it embrace what's going on in your world embrace what's going on in your environment and look forward to something different every day you're nine to five you go you clock in you sit down you do your work you go to lunch you come back you clock out, you go home, you cook dinner, you go to bed, you wake up, you do it all over again. People are creatures of habit and they like that, but you can be a creature of habit and still be successful. That's what I want you to understand. 
you can be successful and be a creature of habit. Now you can't really see over here, but I got a whole thing over here on my whiteboard of things that I've created for my group. I've got a whole getting started guide, right? Videos to watch, things to that you can learn to implement into your life, into your business, your career, what have you. And these are the things I want my team to know, is to not fear the change. Change is good. That means the people in your life, the people around you, you should be getting rid of all the people who are in the way, really. The negative hindrances, you know, I've got a, got a story for that, but we'll save that for another day, rainy day. All right, so fear of the unknown. We're scared of what we don't know about. Yeah, you come in this industry, you don't know anything about it. You don't know where you're going, this journey. What? It, what? It's like flying to the moon. You never know what's gonna happen. But when you land and you get there, God, what a beautiful thing. Could you imagine? Could you imagine Neil Armstrong sitting there saying, nah, I don't wanna go to the moon, because it's unknown to me. I don't know it. It's weird, it's weird. So don't, don't allow the unknown to stop you because the unknown is where magic happens. Things are created, technology is imagined. The, it, things come to fruition. You are able to find something that you didn't know. You know, as a believer, we have unknowns about our, our, our spirituality about our world, about how things can and cannot happen. But the unknown is what makes it beautiful. It's the the forever different, it, the differential of every day. Something to be blessed every single day. And I love it. Fear of failure. You should actually love failure, okay? I love to fail, but when I fail, I fell forward. <laughs> I fell forward, <laughs> sounds kind of weird, but you you want to embrace failure there's so many times that i've been do i've done things and i failed miserably but you know what i wouldn't be here had i not failed had i not learned how to change things how to create this new world how to get myself into a new posture if you will a new situation so failure you should actually embrace Take it in. Make it your teddy bear. Make that your teddy bear. You know, and allow it to snuggle with you. So you say, when failure happens, not if, when. Everybody fails. You know, you learn to walk. Did you ever fall? You learn to ride a bike. Did you ever fall from that? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Failure happens. I see people walking down the street and just fall flat on their face. That's a fail, right? But they get up and they keep doing it. So remember, you learn. It's a learning process. Failure comes from an event. It's not a person, it's an event. During this event, you failed, but what did you learn? What can you use for this success? And then ending with this, guys. Success is what you're after. Now, a lot of us come from situations perhaps where maybe things are not always on the up and up. Everybody around you is poor or broke, you know, broken minded. And you think, you know, if I succeed, they're not going to love me anymore. You know, my friends that I have are not going to care about me. They're not going to be my friends. And what I want you to learn to embrace is not that you're going to lose those friends or lose that family. You're going to broaden your spectrum. You're going to bring out new people, new family members, new friends. Because I'll tell you what right now, and this is what's so beautiful. My team is like my family, right? So like when I wake up in the morning, I have my wife, I have my kids. When I wake up in the morning online, I've got my family and my friends. You know, it's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. And when you learn to embrace more, you'll get more. And when you learn to enjoy that which is given to you, more will be given. All right. So again, fear is false evidence appearing real, right? When you learn to take control of those feelings, 
And here you, you get this inside. And it's hard to explain, but you know that feeling. The tightness in your chest, right? That nervousness in your belly. You know, you may have achy arms like you get all tense because the fear is so strong. You know, you need to be like Bruce Springsteen instead of Carly Simon. Instead of being Carly Simon and saying, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a panic attack. I can't do it. Just know it's your time. It's your time. You are ready. You are able. You are perfect where you are. And, you know, we'll end it on this one because, you know, Zig Ziglar says, you, if you just help enough people get what they want, you'll get everything that you want. All right. So you help others become successful. You help others change their life. You send people to this very video and allow them to see this just like you're watching now to help change their life, to get them over the fear factor that they put themselves in because it's all about change it's all about growth it's all about becoming more than what you are right now every day you should strive to be at least one percent better than you were the day before consistency and growth never stopping never ceasing always looking for more but at the end of the day it's all in how you perceive what you're doing Change the way you look at things and the things you look at change, all right? It begins with the power of the words you speak inside your mind. And Diane Hawkman's one of the ones that actually taught me this. But when you change your words, okay, the words you feed yourself is what your mind believes and what your mouth ends up speaking back out in return. When you change your words, you will change your life. So take it for what it is. Don't allow fear to stop you. Don't allow success to scare you. Don't let change make you not step forward. And sure as heck, don't let the unknown make you stay where you are. All right? You deserve more. Your future deserves more. Your family deserves more. All right? So it's your boy Big Chips here with CreatingSimpleFreedom.com and the Diamond Dream Team. This is a family. If you are looking for a family to lock arms with, if you're looking for an opportunity where you can truly grow and go to the top with us, it doesn't matter your age, your color, your sex, any of this stuff. It just matters that you are there. All right? So it's your boy, Big Chips. I'll see you on the other side. Make it a great day. I dare you.